Morning everyone, I just thought I'd jump on and record a quick video today to talk about turning Facebook likes into paying customers. Uh, because a couple of people have asked some questions regarding this and how to do it. Um, and it was also one of the most asked questions before I actually put together our Facebook guide. Now, it is actually covered in the guide, so if you have bought the guide, I would recommend reading it because it does cover it. But I want to go through it today because I feel it might also be something that's on lots of people's minds. Now, um, to begin with, I just want to shatter any illusions that you might have that there is no golden formula, as it were, or just button that you can press that's going to miraculously turn people from liking one of your photographs into a paying customer of yours. Because, quite frankly, things just aren't that simple. And it's a, it's a little bit naive almost to think that that, that would happen. And I, and I want to explain to you why. Um... We all like pictures on our Facebook feed all of the time. That doesn't necessarily mean we want to buy the product. I've liked lots of pictures of Ferraris that come through my feed, but I'm not about to go out and buy a Ferrari tomorrow. Now, the reason why that is, is because all of your customers are at different stages of what's called the buying cycle, okay? Now, some people are ready to buy and they are actively looking for products and services and if your product or service is in front of them and matches up with what they want, then you've got a chance that they might come and use you or your service. There are lots of other people who maybe have got very mild interest at the moment and they're at that stage of the buying song. You might be able to convince them, potentially. Um, then you've got a whole load of people. Most people, they're not interested at that point in time. Now, for argument's sake, to use an example, let's use nails as an example. That's a great example because nails are one of the most shared and photographed things on Facebook and Instagram. Everyone loves them. It's difficult to photograph a, a massage or a <laughs> waxing. Um, so it's nails, nails are really good. But think about it. Just think about yourself. Now, you probably don't get your nails done every day. You probably don't get your nails done every week, nor do your clients. So someone might love the nail art that you've done on, um, on, on, for a client, but if they've had their nails done the day before, with all the will in the world, they're not going to come and be your customer the following day because they're at the different stage of that buying cycle because they've just had their nails done, so they're not going to need it again straight away. And of course, depending on what the product is, the buying cycles are all going to be a little bit different. So you've got to keep that in mind first and foremost. However, there are, of course, still lots of things you can do to, to try and uh, eventually turn them into paying customers. And what you need to do is you need to be front of mind so that when they've come around the buying circle, when they are ready, you're there, front of mind, waiting at the top of their mind, okay? Now, how do you do that? Good question. Okay, so first and foremost, what you, you can do, if they have liked your post, you can invite them to like your page, okay? You can do it on the mobile app if you've got the Pages app for Facebook, Pages for Facebook app can do it, or you can do it on your laptop, or you can do it on your tablet. Um, all you do is you look at the post, and when it's telling you how it's performing, you've got the little bar right underneath the picture, and it'll say, eight people have liked this. Click on that. That's a clickable bit of text. When you click on it, it'll bring you up uh, a list of all those people who have liked your post. If they don't currently like your page, there is a box there next to their picture saying, invite. You click that, and you will invite that person to like your page. Uh, hopefully, if they've liked your post, there's a reasonable chance they will go on and like your page. And that, of course, will then mean that they will then get exposed to all of your future pictures. And of course, those future pictures, when they get posted, because you're posting with regularity, I hope, um, you might then catch them at a different point in their buying cycle. OK, so that's the first thing that you can do. The second thing that you can do is you can engage with them and try and get them 
off Facebook and onto your mailing list, okay? We talk about in the guide having a competition um, in exchange for their email address. They can get entrance to your competition and then you can keep in contact with them regularly. They can get to know you. Um, people aren't just going to stop using the current supplier that they use and have a relationship with for someone that they've never heard of before unless they are given a very good reason to do so. And you can give them a good reason to do so by sending them useful information on email, maybe the occasional offer to try and tempt them in, um, and coming across as being friendly, knowledgeable, personable, so that they like you. And then once they like you and they're ready to get their nails done, well, then that will be the time that they will maybe give you a whirl for the first time, okay? You've got to look at it from your client's eyes, okay? Particularly if you're doing paid advertising and they have never heard of you before, think about you, okay? Let's talk about hair, okay? Let's say about a hairdresser. You, let's say a hairdresser is targeting ladies your age and in your area and you see a post come through on your Facebook feed with, uh, let's say, four hairstyles and you think, wow, they look fab and you like it. Now, the chances of you the next day switching your current hairdresser to go and try someone that the previous day before that you'd never even heard of is incredibly slim. People just aren't going to do it. But let's say, for example, you like that post, they invite you to like their page, you say, okay, I'll do that. You like their page. You then get, I see a whole load of posts they do, other nice haircuts and little tips of how maybe you can condition your hair easily at home for less than five pounds or whatever. I don't know. I'm just, this is off the top of my head. I don't know, but I'm just saying, and then maybe then they say, look, you could win a cut and blow dry if you enter our monthly draw. You say, do you know what? I think I might just do that. So on you go and you do that. Then you get a series of emails from them, a couple of week for the next month telling you how you can look after your hair, giving ideas of styles for autumn coming up, how you should best accessorise when you've had highlights done, whatever. And then maybe, just maybe, after a few of those, one of them has got a little voucher on there saying, come and see us, and when you pay for a full Kai's haircut, you will get a free blow dry, um, and you'll get a free cup of green tea and a biscuit. And at that point, you say, do you know what? I'm going to go and give you a whirl. It's not going to be the day you click like on the Facebook post. It's going to be the day after they've built a relationship with you and shown you that they care. They show you that they know what they're doing um, and they have given you a reason to buy from them. I hope that helps, all right? Uh, keep in mind, everyone is at a different stage of that buying process. Some people, some people might be ready to buy that day. They, so you might get some booking straight away. But the chances are, you're going to need to nurture them a little bit more first. And that is why it's so important to build an email list off of Facebook so you can stay in regular contact with these people. I hope that helps everyone. And of course, if you haven't, that is one of the topics that is discussed in our ultimate Facebook guide. If you've not got a copy, it is still available. I will put a link in the comments underneath this video so you can grab one. I would highly recommend it. Um, and I hope that helps. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thanks, everyone.